Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Holiday Doc here and this is another competitive gameplay commentary for you, Villa Domination with my uh, good friend Mr. Midget King who is still actively looking for a team for Columbus. He is going to Columbus whether he's got a team or not. So hey, if you got a team, you need some, I need a fourth, definitely hit him up. So we got Villa Dom. And Midget King's team started, you know, not on the greatest side. So what he's going to do is try to work his way around right off the start of this game and try to secure the best side of the map. A and B flags are extremely hard to get away from a team once they have it locked down. But that kind of brings me to a point, and uh, I just want to pause this video real quick and uh, get you guys involved on a certain topic tournament that's coming up the next couple days here so we're going to show you that saturday april 23rd at 11 a.m pacific standard time we got 64 teams 2v2 tournament first place gets 200 bucks cash second place 80 bucks now this is on xbox this is a free entry tournament that's pretty damn sick now i'm, I'm gonna advertise anything that's gonna benefit gamers Secondly, this Sunday is another 2v2 free entry tournament where first place gets Gunner Optics. And uh, all these tournaments are leading up to something really big and pretty epic that I'm going to focus a whole other video on. So I'm going to go ahead and resume this video. But if you definitely are looking to get some action and some you know, fantastic prizes for free entry, definitely check out ptgpro.com. And they got some signups and everything ready. First come, first serve. I think it's almost actually uh, filled up. So get there as soon as you can. Back to the video. Supernatural pulling up behind Garage here. Securing the initial kill. Now he's got to move in. He knows that there's a second guy. He waits and he plays it pretty smart. You know, He's looking to grab some more kills and secure the area before the flag. That's really important and really strategic when you're talking domination. You don't want to just go land on a flag and wait for the enemy to come to you. You have to rely on that 7 second respawn time and make sure that your team's in a position to back you up once that flag goes down. For instance, you know, once Supernatural grabs his flag, he does get taken out. Is the rest of the team in a position to grab that A flag back and defend it? Not really. Most of the teams back towards C. Midget King gets taken out from behind as he's trying to throw a grenade on B to defend that flag a little bit longer. But then again, we got Supernatural on a terrific respawn heading back to B. Now, we do see that the enemy's taken C side, and that's okay. You know, we want them over on C. Once they grab C, now we have A and B on lock, and it's absolutely tr like um, imp almost impossible to get a, gr a good team that is you know, set up in all the power positions on this map out of that. And Sweater right there with a nasty, nasty two-piece picking off two guys that were both shooting at him. I don't know how people get away with that. I can never do it myself. But, you know, we're watching some decent players, and uh, I never claim to be the best, but my mind definitely thinks along with the best, and I, I do believe that, you know, being a great coach is all about learning the strategic parts of this game more opposed to playing it at the level of pros. That's why I think I'm going to make a great addition to Team Fear's roster as their coach and definitely help them out with their LAN events and get be that extra eye, be that extra guy behind them on the on the stage there watching, give them call outs and really just helping them focus on just getting into the game and focusing as much as they can on continuing their their basic strats and just working on the fly with that. So Back to the game at hand, Supernatural, they, at this point, this team's got to really push up past the triangle and get them on spawn lock. You know, if they can control triangle and long side, you know, we got Supernatural already on fountain, he's going to be cutting off these, these spawns that are going to be coming over top of hedge. But then he pushes up a little too far and does get caught trying to pick up another gun from, I don't even know how that bullet killed him, but welcome to Black Ops. Sweater. On the respawn again, backside gate. It's pushing up to triangle, really trying to hold this down. Long street is a is you know one of the most important parts to this strategy. You know this alleviates um, a lot of stress off of fountain when you can you know fully lock down this side. Now fountain guy 
you know, can get some callouts as he's in this position. Now you can call out to Fountain Guy, who's going to have two guys, three guys heading his way. He can now position himself in a better place to counter those movements moving forward. Supernatural looking for some stuns, trying to follow up stuns himself here. And uh, he does pull out the kill as he tries to pop up and grab a grab a counter himself. On B, consistency does pick him up. A sweater swooping in pretty quick, trying to get that opponent off there as soon as possible. We got two guys center map and third guy is pushing his way around through villa i believe and sweater once again pulling up to this spot not only is that spot uh, important for getting the spawn kill but you can now um, get those call outs to your team and supernatural you know pulling up to that position this is a, another crucial position that center b flag cut or uh, the center cut is essentially what's it, what it's called and uh if you're in that spot now you can watch right side dom and you can make sure nobody's going through Villa. And then Sweater, you know, knowing his positions, got to move up to B, got to counter these spots. And he's pushing his way through, using those stun nades and grabbing the kill to counter it. And, uh, you know, once he's got the kill, he's got to move up. <laughs> and Midget, or I think uh, Supernatural there got the one and then picked off Midget King. And, uh, you know, lots of good plays by this team. I, and I'm really impressed. Uh, I haven't really seen too much of Sweater or Supernatural. But both these guys seem to be, you know, fairly knowledgeable about spawns, routes, and power points on these maps. I got to stick through a couple games with these guys, and you know, definitely I would even consider Midget to, you know, team up with these guys, just because it seems like they were working so well right off the start. So, um, yeah, and right there, another example of knowing spawns. If they're not coming down hedge, they got to be on rocks. So he pulls over and he gets those couple markers not able to finish off some kills and then midget king with a nasty three piece trying to follow that up as he's running around through triangle pulls up the handgun and does get the fourth kill that's pretty pretty fantastic haven't seen too many four kills in you know the whole team going down ever but uh not able to return that out as they do spawn on garage side so you know once they start spawning over there you know midget's team does count um you know capitalize on the triple cap adding some more points to this game early on or later on sorry and two minutes left the other team has a, 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 a lot of points to really make up for midget king spawning backside eight on the villa they got to throw over top and try to secure b and get back to their points on the map there's a few places over on triangle that can be used as defensive and offensive positions that is really going to benefit your team um, there's the box jump there's the secondary box jump closer to the arches and then there's obviously the car those are three you know points that you could definitely like rotate through to help uh you know stay away from the nades that are obviously going to be headed your way now right here a point i don't you know think was a good position on super is he went looking for the rock spawn you know there were obviously they weren't over there we had somebody over on well that called out that should have called out that they weren't spawning there or they weren't there but they were all up and then he went and pushed through back arches into you know right into the enemy's positions not really benefiting himself and sweater responding again with a really <laughs> really nice uh, gun control and accuracy there as he pulls out two kills and then following up with a third on the respawn grabbing away from that nade he's going to back up to arches and now he's going to start to look and you know try and find where they're coming from which is you know smart not getting caught on the run too much which is another good uh good sign of a decent player you know you know definitely pausing before he comes out in the open and and really check but one thing i have to say about these guys is they're always running with your handgun and i really want to clarify that if you have lightweight on it overwrites the handgun speed increase so Please stop running with your handgun out. It does not give you a benefit. So Midget, Ether, both bottom bar. While Midget's choosing to go up top, and they are pushing towards center map. They got nobody on triangle side, and we got markers, two dots from right side hedge, and then one down on, on statue here. Midget tries to jump out a window and just gets his PP slap from consistency there as he was ADS'd on the position already. I think Midget might have got called out, or you know the opposition was just smart and knew that that was a very typical spot to be in. So... Once again, I'm going to flash that flyer at the end here. You know, if you're interested in some free tournaments, Primetime Gamers is definitely hooking us gamers up. So head on, head on over to there. And, uh, yeah, you know, free tournament, good exposure, good way to get started. Anyways, I'm Holiday Doc. I'm out of here.